Hey, welcome back. Well, this week officials with Texas Parks and Wildlife's Coastal Fisheries staff traveled along the Texas coast, meeting with local fishermen and getting their input about regulations for harvesting spotted sea trout, which they say were severely affected by the 2021 winter freeze. Yeah, the regulations changed after that big freeze, but that all expired at the end of August. Our Brandon Schaaf spoke with an angler who attended one of the meetings about what they want to see happen next. Brandon? Hey, good evening, Mike and Leslie. And according to the Texas Parks and Wildlife, after the emergency measure expired, the former regulations on bag and size limits were reinstated across Texas. But now Texas Parks and Wildlife has been meeting with fishermen to present data that they have on spotted sea trout numbers and discuss what's best for how those regulations should be set. Everybody wants to take their fish home, and that used to be fine when we had a lot less fishermen, but uh, you know, now that we're such high numbers, we're coming off the backside of the freeze, it's just not sustainable. David Rousey has been fishing around the coastal bend for almost 35 years. He said he wants a reduction in trout limits, since there's too many people fishing recreationally, and then there's also guides who are running charters. There's a general consensus to lower it from five trout with a 15 to 25 inch slot to something in the neighborhood of two to three trout with a 15 to 20 inch slot much tighter. The emergency measure after the 2021 freeze changed the limit to three fish between 17 and 23 inches. That expired on August 31st, changing it back to the old limit. Dr. Greg Stunts with Texas A&M Corpus Christi's Heart Research Institute said the Texas Parks and Wildlife meetings provide an opportunity for anglers to give their input. The Coastal Bend residents have high stakes in this trout fishery. It's a major economic driver, so we want to make sure we have the best management measures in place. The meeting's an opportunity for Texas Parks and Wildlife officials to meet with local fishermen. Dr. Stunts said the meetings were driven by the 2021 freeze, which devastated fish populations, some that are still recovering. He commented during the meeting at the Island University, suggesting a conservative approach when it comes to fishery management. We want to be wise conservationists, good stewards of the resource, and ensure that our children and their children get to experience what we have in terms of recreational fishing. The meetings contain science that was combined with public input. Dr. Stunts said they can help create a sustainable fishery population. Rousey explained there are many local fishermen concerned with the spotted sea trout population and most support lower limits. He said the meetings can help move the issue in the right direction. It's really cool that we're having what they call scoping meetings now and they, uh, um, you know, they want the public's input. And Rousey says that a lot of people are operating under an honor system, holding themselves accountable when out fishing to help conserve the trout population. Well, the next phase after these meetings is taking everything that's been discussed before the Texas Parks and Wildlife Commission. And Dr. Stunt says that from there, they will make the ultimate decision on how to best manage the fisheries. Mike, Leslie. All right, Brandon, thank you so much for that.